Welcome to a coffee chat in a van. This is a little series of videos that I try to get to about once a week with the intent of just us sitting down and having a little chat together about a variety of topics. And quite often that topic is uh, coffee or coffee related as in the case of today. So today I thought I'd talk about oat milk and I was asked recently to do a taste testing of oat milks and uh, I actually thought that that's kind of a tall order but um, I'm going to do my best to kind of convey what I think about oat milk and what I think is my favorite oat milk although I am always searching for a better a healthier version of oat milk but um, before we get into that just thought I'd talk about the coffee that I've been drinking today and actually for the last few days and that is from a small company out of Colorado and this is Solar Roast Coffee and uh, I have really been enjoying this coffee. This is a organic coffee from Peru and as the name would suggest uh, this company does all their roasting by utilizing solar power so kind of an interesting company uh, interesting coffee and uh, a very tasty coffee as well. So that's what I'm drinking today and I actually have a little bit of oat milk in my coffee this evening which is normal for me. I normally like a little bit of some type of cream in my coffee and lately in the last few years I've been trying to get away from dairy quite so much and so I've gravitated over to oat milk after tasting all kinds of milk alternatives. I started out with almond milk and I didn't really care for that. Uh, almond milk and coffee to me doesn't go very well. Uh, there are some decent almond milks out there but um, to me every single one of them seems to uh, get a little grainy in texture and it doesn't have that creamy milk or half and half like consistency that I like. And personally, I like half and half or even double cream in my coffee. I like that fat content. So that's why I started out with almond milk as my first option as a dairy replacement because it has a little bit of fat in it. And I liked the extra fat that the almond milk had, just didn't like the kind of grainy texture of it. Now, I've tried some other types of nut milks and... I just thought that most of them had a little bit too much flavor in them uh, and they would kind of contrast with the coffee. Uh, when I'm drinking coffee, I really want to taste the coffee more than anything else. So if something has a heavy flavor of its own, it's not really my to my liking. And that's how I kind of settled on the oat milk. Now, my first reaction with oat milk was... Uh, Oh, maybe 20 some years ago when I tried oat milk the first time and I didn't like it much. And back then it was a health food store item. It was just oats and water and it didn't have any added fat in it like most of the oat milks that are on offer today. I think uh, the difference uh, from then till now is... Uh, manufacturers realize that there are a lot of people like me that want that extra fat content, that extra creaminess that the old way of making oat milk just didn't bring. Nowadays, companies are adding fat into the oat milk to give us that creamy texture that I am certainly looking for. Now, my favorite oat milk is Oatly. And Oatly is a big brand. They're a worldwide brand. And they make several different variations of their oat milk, and uh, this one happens to be their full-fat milk. So it's got quite a bit of fat in it, a whopping amount of fat. If you read the nutrition label on the side here, um, now that may not be to everybody's liking, but for me, that's what I'm looking for. Of all the oat milks that I've tried, it has the most neutral flavor really doesn't bring any of its own flavor along so that way it doesn't mask any of the nice coffee flavor that I want to enjoy. Now the only thing about Oatly is, and this really goes with all of these modern oat milks, since they are adding fat back into them, 
uh, to give them that creamy texture. Uh, they are not exactly a healthy item. Now, years ago, when I tried oat milk for the first time, that was a healthy alternative. Uh, it was just oats and water and really not much else. So it was a really basic, natural product. Uh, these oat milks nowadays are not quite so simple and not quite so natural, and that includes Oatly. Now, Oatly has a few things on the ingredient list that if you're like me and you really look at, at ingredient lists very closely, uh, there are some things that may not be something that you would want to consume on a regular basis. Now, in the case of Oatly here, I do give them a little bit of a pass on the ingredients that I don't particularly like because I really enjoy the flavor and the texture of this product. So it's not the healthiest of choices, and this might be a good time just to talk about the health aspects of perceived health aspects, I should say, of oat milk. I think that oat milks are popular nowadays because people are looking more for uh, plant-based options and their focus is on it strictly being plant-based and they kind of forget about the health aspects of it. So I'm not going to say that oat milk is healthy. In fact, I would say in a lot of cases, especially in the case of Oatly, it would not be a healthy product to consume. I switched to oat milks because I decided I wanted to get away from dairy. So for me, I'm giving up kind of one evil for another evil. I wouldn't exactly say that Oatly is uh, any healthier or better for me than regular old cow's milk. I really wouldn't. Uh, and that's kind of a point I really want to drive home here is that I don't think that uh, anybody should give anybody advice on health aspects. We all really need to look at what we're eating and decide if we really want to continue to consume those products. You certainly may decide after looking at the ingredients of an oat milk that you see on the star shelf that it's not something that you want to consume, and I would certainly understand that. Uh, I have actually thought about switching back to half and half believe it or not, uh, just to see how that goes. But oddly enough, uh, it seems like the price of dairy in half and half has kind of uh, skyrocketed a bit. And I don't know when that has actually happened because I've been uh, not been buying half and half for quite some time. So uh, maybe that's a recent thing, maybe not. But um, it kind of seems like half and half, uh, at least organic half and half would be uh, considerably more expensive than the Oatly that I have been buying. And this Oatly is about 5 to $6 per half gallon. So uh, not a cheap product by any means, but that is the reason that I have been looking for an alternative, something else. Um, so in that light, I have uh, gone around and have tried some different oat milks. So recently I tried one from uh, the Kroger brand of uh, grocery stores, and this one, this one is uh, their Simple Truth brand of oat milk. And at first, I really kind of liked it. Uh, now, it wasn't nearly as creamy as Oatly, and it wasn't as neutral in flavor as Oatly is. But I didn't really mind that quite so much because this was a uh, dollar or dollar fifty less per half gallon. So at first, just thinking about the money aspect, I, uh, I liked this product. Um, but after I got about halfway done with the container, I started to really not like it so much. Um, that kind of chalky texture that it, that it has uh, started to really bother me. And also I started to notice the flavor was really pronounced, uh, more pronounced than I kind of realized at first. So once I drank about half of this container, I um, I decided I didn't want to drink any more of it, and I actually didn't drink any more of it, yeah, which is unusual for me. Usually when I buy something, I just finish off the container, but uh, the more I drank this, the more I didn't like it. And this, again, has some ingredients that are not the best. Now I tried an, another new 
one to me. This one is was a shelf stable version of oat, oat milk, and I had never heard of this brand before. But it was at a natural food store, health food store, and I really like the ingredients. The ingredients are really minimal on this. It's just uh, oats and water and sunflower seed or sunflower oil and salt, sea salt. I kind of like this one. Uh, it's not very creamy, but it does have a fairly neutral flavor. But again, that texture is uh, was kind of off-putting to me. It's got a really chalky uh, texture to it, and uh, I really didn't like this very much. And this one is very expensive. This one is going to be about three to five dollars for this uh, quart of oat milk, and that is uh, maybe maybe a little more than I really want to spend. The nice thing about the shelf-stable ones is that uh, until you open them, you don't need to refrigerate them. Now, once you open them, you need to refrigerate them, but the, these kind of shelf-stable ones are kind of ideal for me as a backup uh, if I can't find my Oatly or if I just happen to run out and uh, don't have a lot of space in my fridge. Uh, I can keep one of these in my dry food storage and then open it up, use it, and uh, this takes up very little space in my kind of small refrigerator. So I want to like this, but again, I can't really recommend this one. Uh, it is probably a much healthier alternative, uh, at least looking at the Oatly or the Kroger brand, uh, but it's not really my favorite in texture and flavor. So I kind of go back to the Oatly being just superior. Uh, there is one other that I have here to show you. I've tried several, but um, uh, these are just a few that I've had on hand here. This is one that I have uh, kept in my dry storage. This is another brand, Califia brand of oat milk. And uh, this is not one that I really care for a lot, but it's extremely uh, creamy in flavor and texture. Um, it has a very neutral flavor as well. Uh, I do find this one to be extremely rich. And if I happen to make a latte out of this, I find that it's a little bit too much on my stomach. It just seems to kind of sit heavy with me. So maybe that's the type of fat that they're using in this. But um, again, it's not my favorite, but I do like to keep just something on hand uh, if I can't find the Oatly. And that happens quite often because uh, Oatly seems to be the most popular, and especially this full-fat Oatly. Uh, it seems to sell out quicker than any of the other varieties that I find in the stores. And a lot of stores just don't carry this as well. So uh, it tends to be kind of hard to find. Oh, and I should mention that uh, this one is usually about 3 to $4.00 for a quart. So this is not a cheap option either. So those are just a few of the oat milks that I have tried and I have to say that of all of the ones that I've tried, the Oatly is by far the best uh, flavor and texture uh, wise to me and so that's why I just keep going back to it. And especially because it's not as expensive as some of the other brands out there. So not a cheap product but not the most expensive either. So I hope this has been helpful in some way. I talk about Oatly a lot, and that's just because I like it, and I drink a lot of coffee, and so I do consume a lot of Oatly. Um, I like the product, that's why I use it, uh, but I don't really talk too much about how I came along to uh, drinking Oatly, buying Oatly, using Oatly. So maybe that gives you a little insight on uh, how I have come to enjoy Oatly on a regular basis and hopefully it gives you a little idea about uh, maybe you what you might want to try uh, in the future anyway uh, thanks for watching today I really appreciate it mm -hmm.